Hey y'all, Joe here, Southern Coast of Cooking, coming at you tonight. This is another one of the videos we went over to our buddy Sullivan's uh, grocer here local, right down the street. This is fantastic meat market, y'all, and got us a to pair of Boston butts. Beautiful right here. This is about uh, 18, 19 pounds worth right here. We're doing these for our friends uh, who have a cabin up in Neshoba, Mississippi and they wanted some barbecue and i said y'all just let me do this uh favor let me just cook you up some butts and y'all take them up there with you and and that's what i'm gonna do y'all so uh yeah tonight we're gonna break them down we're gonna get into uh you know how to tr how to trim them up a little bit and we're gonna we're gonna do that uh also you know like to thank our friends over at pitmaster barbecue supply and this university of q We'll put some of this to the test here. And remember, that's uh, Pitmaster Barbecue Supply. Y'all can check them out. But, you know, of course, Sullivan's Market. This is the one we use here in Glugstat. Like I said, it's just locally owned. Can't think of a better place uh, to go get some groceries. Some meats, some wonderful pork, farm raised, stuff like that, local. So, it's busting his butt. First off, we're going to just tear the package open. I'm laughing. I love this stuff. I, I bought this table cover and I mean, you can get it anywhere. I just got this at Sam's, but you know, these disposable table covers, you know, for parties or whatnot. Man, I use this for all my butchering. I just cover up the kitchen table, you know, and I ain't got to worry about it. See, so, yeah, I'll recover here next go around, but uh, so we're right here. So we got that there. Move that out the way. All right, so we got two butts here. Take them apart, look at them. Mighty fine, I'd say about eight, nine pounds a piece. Look at the money muscle on that one, y'all. That is beautiful, okay? Let's see what money muscle looks like on this one. It's got a nice one too, okay? What I wanna do is just get some of this, this spare fat, see this is the lean side. Let's see what the fat cap side looks like. Turn them over here. So that's a fat cap. Not gonna really do much over on that side, y'all. But I'm gonna trim some of this on my lean side because this is where I want to create my bark. Okay. This is this is where the presentation side, as I like to call it, as well. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna kind of trim this up. We don't take much, like I said. We're not doing this for competition, but I do want my friends to have the best experience of some pulled pork they can you know by me trimming this up for them and getting some of this this connective tissue and it's just, just this not very good fat off the top uh, silver skin whatnot okay so again we're just going to trim this up on the tops and I'll be back to y'all here in just a few Okay, so we got these beauties cleaned up, got them in a pan with a wire rack. I'm gonna show y'all what we're gonna do. We're about to inject. What I'm injecting with, I make my own little injection. I have some like stub slop sauce. You can find that at uh, Sullivan's or whatever. About half and half of the apple juice. And I think that that makes a good injection. Make sure you have a good thick needle. It is a thicker injection. Uh, you can thin out a little bit with uh, more apple juice. That's what I'm gonna inject with. All right, y'all, let's start injecting these son of a guns. Oh, yeah, look at this. I'm going to go this way. Get right in that good old. Try not to get in the bone. Get this muscle on one side of the bone. Pump it in. Be real careful. Pull your finger around there because that stuff will shoot out all over you. If you're not careful, you can feel it blowing up like a balloon. Or it starts to shoot out, kind of let go. I'll get down here on this other end. Add a little bit more. But take your time. Don't get in a hurry. If stuff starts spewing out, just quit and move to another spot. But you want to get as much of this injection in here as you can. It's, it's good stuff, y'all. They going on. Mm. See, and I like to do it from with the fat cap side down, because I, the way I figure it, that fat cap helps to hold in a little bit of that injection. As it may try to fall out the bottom or something. But we're just going to inject, and it's, it's cool, you can feel it. Kind of put your finger over there, 
feel the center coming out. That's another reason I put on this wire rack. So it's not just sitting there swimming in injection and all your uh, all your good uh, rub falls off. Look, let's go over here in this money muscle. Very important injection right here. Get that money muscle full. That good injection. Oh, it's hard. He didn't want to be stuck right there. Okay. All right. Maybe put one more injection in this one. One more than this one. Down that kind of horn muscle there. All right. Oh, I see one more place. Over here. Yeah, that bad boy up. All right. Now we'll move on next and do the same thing. Well, now for the rub. Let's try some of this Squad uh, University Q all-purpose rub. That'd be good. Uh, I'm gonna put some in a jar. Give me just a second. I like to use a shaker. That way, you know, you can reuse it. And to me, you don't get the, I don't know, the can all dirty and stuff, and it just, it comes out better okay so we're gonna get this all shook up see I do the fat cap sides first because you know my other side to be the prettiest that's the deal so Get all that puny done there. Look, make sure we get the sides. Get everything right there. You know, in that rub. And once we do that, then we'll flip them over. Try to squeeze too much of that uh, injection out in the process. So we got that there. Get that done. We'll go ahead and get a little bit more on there. We'll take cure on we'll put some more in here. And we'll do the other side, y'all. There we go. We'll gonna let all that work in. Because that's a big piece of meat, folks. That's a lot of goodness in there. Use whatever rub you want. Actually, I may add a little pecan rub to this too, just to snap it up a bit. Yeah, just change it up a little bit. That's some of this butcher's honey pecan. And you should have had this in the freezer, keeping a bunch of them rubs when they went on sale a while back. And we use some of this, you know, this would be a good rub for mass production here. Look at this. You know, these things soak up a lot of rub. Sure. Look at that, y'all. Is that not beautiful? Look to get them sides, all that stuff, double goodness. Get all up in there, looking flaps, everything, because that could build bark eventually. Okay. We'll get that all covered. And good. Now what we're gonna do, we'll let this stuff sit out just a little bit, sit in the fridge for an hour or so. You can set it overnight if you want to. Get to uh, the uh, Lone Star action on this deal fired up. And we're gonna roll with it. About nine o'clock at night, we're out here at the Lone Star Pit. Run a 100% cherry lumberjack. Y'all, we're about to put these bad boys on. In just a second, let's get over here. Run about 225. Right here. We'll put them to bed. Come back and check them in a few hours. 
I want y'all to say something. I've been out here for about two hours and uh, show y'all what they look like. Look at those beauties. Look at that barn. Everything's starting to set up like that. But see, there's plenty of moisture right there. There's no putting spritzing or anything right now. I mean, because they got plenty, plenty of moisture. It's so humid down south here. So we just want these roll, y'all. Check these couple of wires. So I want to show y'all something here. It's been on, it's about midnight now. And look at it. Uh, see that color coming up right there? The moisture still on the, on the outside. That's, man, look at the smoke roll off from that Lone Star Grill. That's getting some beautiful barbecue flavor right there. So this is going all night, low and slow, 225 weight, no hurry. Be no deadlines. This right here is going to be some of the best barbecue I hope I've done in a long time. Shut it down, let it go to bed. Just smoke and smoke. All right, y'all, they have been smoking 12 hours, and I believe they are going to be ready to wrap. I'm going to shoot the thermal pin on them real quick. See what we're looking at temp wise. But uh, yeah, I believe we're going to be ready to wrap the wings, y'all. 144, 45. Yep. Good wrapping temperature there. And beautiful, beautiful bark setup. Alright, so we are uh, about to take them in and give them a wrap. Okay, y'all. I just brought them in. They reached two or three internal. I wrapped them. Look how beautiful they look. And I'm going to let them rest. For a few hours and then we'll pull. Y'all, so look, we've let them set, wrapped them up, uh, cool for about an hour and a half or so. They're temping about 160 in the center. That's what I want to go ahead and just pull it apart and show you what we're looking at. All right, y'all, let's go in here right now. Let's see how she pulls. First, you want your bone test. Everything look clean from the bone. That's good. That's what we're looking for. Right there. A lot of times, I just like to take the bone itself. And just use that to bust the rest of it up. Keep that good clean bar. See what I'm doing right there? I mean, that is good smoked pig. Okay? So that one is very, very nice. I'm going to do that to the other one. I mean, look at that, y'all. You just tore it up with a bone right there. Then we'll set some aside and we'll taste it with that University of Q GPA sauce, all right? I'm gonna bust this other one up. Let's take a look at it. See how it turned out. We'll have a little more juice in there. All right. Let's look at it. Look at y'all can see. See this bone pull out? Pull out clean just like that. Okay, and then you just take that bone and just bust it up, y'all. That's all you gotta do. If it'll bust up like that, it's ready. You did a good job. You don't need no shredders or pullers or butch, I mean, uh, cleavers or nothing like that. That's what you want, y'all. That's the thing of beauty right there. Now, I'm going to get some on that plate. We'll taste it in just a minute. I just want y'all to see uh, how it's supposed to pull apart, bust apart, and uh, what you're looking for. So, uh, I'll get back to y'all in just a moment. All right, y'all, so now for a moment of truth, let's go ahead and we'll try some of this pulled pork, just like a cane. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Y'all, I'm going to tell you what. Some fine pork. I love you. All right, now. We can put some of this University of Q GPA sauce on there from uh, the Pitmaster Barbecue Supply. We'll have a little bit of try, all right? When you get finished, can I do a cartwheel mm -hmm. for you? Yeah. Okay, now, I'm gonna put a little bit of this Q on there. And give it a try. Let's go. Come I'm gonna taste this. Mm. What is some quality pork from Sullivan's? 
little farm raised pork. Mm. Ooh, -wee. man, very good. Look, this stuff is free gluten. No MSG. It says uh, no high fructose corn syrup. GPA food sauce. Backyard winning overall competition circuit. This has got brown sugar, ketchup, paste, uh, vinegar, cane sugar, natural smoke flavors. That's some good stuff, y'all. Tell you what, I'm gonna put some more right here on this pork. But I got the pork packed up for the people. They're gonna take it to the Shoba County. And I tell you what, I can't say who. But uh, these folks that I'm making it for Road Elbow, some famous folks. And there's a lot of them to be some, some really, really famous people eating this pork this weekend. So uh, might get judged on that one. So we'll see. But anyway, hey, y'all don't forget to live around here, check out Sullivan's. And then if you look for a place to order you some stuff, uh, this Pitmaster Barbecue Supply, they got it all, you know, sauces, rubs, whatever you need. But thank y'all so much. Uh, have a good one. God bless and take care.